All right, guys, so I want to start by sharing one of the design patches with you. These are essentially multis that we built to give you that final produced sound right out of the box. Um, and it gives you a good example of LA Modern Percussion in its kind of final form. Um, it was very important to us that we provided users not only with exquisitely recorded, you know, individual drums, but we also gave you that layered, processed, pitched down, crazy sound, um, fully produced out of the box so that you can actually get that sound that you hear in, in a lot of the scores. So let's just take a listen to another example here. This was created entirely with the multis with no additional processing, just played in um, right out of the box. So let's just take a listen. All right, so pretty cool. Again, that was completely uh, out of the box, nothing else going on, only using our multis. Um, so let's just take a look at this one. This is my favorite, as you can probably tell. It's called Krypton Toms, and uh, it was inspired by one of my favorite scores that feature very heavy tom-based percussion. Um, but let's just take a listen to me playing it in now. From now on out, from here on out, I'm going to be playing in the patches. Uh, by hand, so forgive my sloppy playing. illustrate the uh, smooth dynamics here. So let's see what we got going on here. We've got a ton of different layers. Well, not a ton, but a lot. And um, if you noticed, we've got two kind of different sounds on these different key mappings. And what we did here was we actually had the true ensembles mapped onto the left key mapping and a kind of simulated ensemble from the solo drums on the right. Now, what's really cool about this is that we're in complete control over the looseness and the randomization in the velocity because, uh, you know, to have a more human sound, obviously the players aren't going to be hitting at exactly the same time and exactly the same uh, hardness. So, we can control that all within contact, which is awesome. But what's even more awesome is that I can route these uh, controls essentially to the mod wheel. So let's take a listen to how it sounds when I pull the mod wheel all the way down. Now I'm gonna just kind of ride that mod wheel so you can hear how the looseness is changing. All right, let's just take a listen to another one of the multis. This one was designed more to be just like a, an ensemble of drums rather than one big kind of all tom ensemble. This has different types of tones and, and whatnot. Okay, so you'll notice that some of these uh, design patches are very processed. So the exciting thing about these design patches is that because we built the library essentially to create these, 
there's there's no limit to the creative possibilities. Um, you know, what we included in the release here is just what we were able to kind of build and experiment with over the last few weeks. But what we plan to do is actually expand upon this concept in the future so that we can actually release um, design patch packs um, where, where we're essentially able to stream out new content that's based from the original source material. 